So today's Johnny Depp, the Sun case, it is kicked off in an explosive start. With Johnny Depp taking the stage, talking about what A.H. did to him. I mean, there's so much out there. That's what we're going to talk about here. We're going to talk about who else we're going to see. So much to compact into this. So hey there. Now before we get started, this is our second comic, another case for the littlest umbrella. Link is in the description. One week left on this. Now we can't get any mainstream support talking about this. The Basically, the only way we can talk about it is right here, so hopefully you'll check it out. It is a great product. We have both comics associated here. More on that at the end of the video. So in case you've missed out on exactly what's transpiring, Johnny Depp is suing two parties. He's suing NGN, our news group newspaper, the owner of the tabloid The Sun, and he's also suing the guy who wrote an April 2018 article entitled, quote, Potty, how J.K. Rowling can be genuinely happy casting wife-beater Johnny Depp in the new Fantastic Beast film. Now, the reason for the lawsuit, it can be summarized really well from Dan Wooten's own tweets. J.K. Rowling is a Hollywood hypocrite for standing by Fantastic Beast star Johnny Depp, despite allegations that he abused ex-wife A.H. Today, I reveal the backlash from a certain hashtag movement and demand to know why she's so hell-bent on supporting Depp, a.k.a. we need to cost him his job. We accuse him of all kinds of stuff. You can see, like I said, why that might get you sued. Now, today was day one of three days of Johnny Depp testimony, and today he dropped some bombshells, like the fact that A.H., she had definitely dropped a bombshell in their bed, and he was leaving her because of that. Now, in case you haven't heard about this before, this is derived from an April 22, 2016 claim in which Hilda Vargas, Johnny Depp's then housekeeper, calls Kevin Murphy, Johnny Depp's L.A. property manager, and says, Houston, we have a problem. I was on my way to the penthouse at the time, and when I arrived, I was shocked and disgusted by what I observed as human feces on the white bed sheets. So yeah, Kevin Murphy, he puts this into his deposition. And you know that list of names that we looked at just a minute ago? Kevin Murphy, he's going to include a witness statement, and I'm sure that it'll include this. And Hilda Vargas, I don't know what else that she can talk about by live lake video, but I'm sure that this will be included. Man, what a show. Now, the Daily Mail, they did a good job of summarizing what exactly transpired. So we're going to look at some of their stuff. We're going to look at what The Sun said about stuff today. Oh, there's so much more to cover. Quote, Hollywood star Johnny Depp today denied ever hitting his ex-wife A.H. as the Hollywood star insisted it was her who had been violent towards him during the first day of the explosive high court libel trial. The Pirates of the Caribbean actor, 57, accused A.H., 38, of repeatedly punching him in the face and severing his finger by throwing a vodka bottle at him. The Hollywood star branded accusations that he subjected her to quote-unquote torture and other abuse as quote sick and, quote, completely untrue. Depp said he does not believe he has an overbearing or manipulative or controlling personality and said A.H. has an obsessive need to control it. Now, this, I thought it was interesting because she has always claimed that he was some kind of monster on plane rides. Well, this is what he had to say about that. In one of the witness statements filed as part of his libel case against the Sun's publisher, NGN, the actor said, quote, rage-filled, violent, incidents on planes were common with A.H. Depp said the pair were on a private chartered flight in late 2014 or early 2015 when A.H. became, quote, verbally aggressive. He said she called him a P and spineless for running away from fights with her. Then she became physically violent and repeatedly punched me in the face. As I moved toward the back of the plane to get away from her, she followed me into the ba plane's bedroom and punched me again in the face and in the head. I pushed her away from me onto the bed. I then grabbed a pillow and locked myself in the bathroom where I slept for the duration of the flight. He also added this with regard to his severed face. Anger. A.H. severed my finger with a second of two thrown vodka bottles at me in the early afternoon of Sunday, March the 8th. A.H. claims that this was on the second day of a three-day hostage situation. Now, before continuing that, I want you to see these pictures to really drive that home and to remember that A.H. claimed that he attacked her for three days, dragging her through glass and on, and yet she flees the country. This happened in, it happened in Australia, never 
actually goes for any type of medical assistance, but this guy loses a finger and something no one ever talks about. There was a claim of a cigarette also being put out on his face. Now, the way that AH's lawyers have been trying to frame this, they've been talking about Johnny Depp utilizing substances, including drugs, including alcohol, and those things changes his character and making him volatile. Now, he was asked about this stuff. In fact, he was grilled the entire morning over it, and he said the following on this. Quote, I've always been interested in counterculture, and many literary heroes of mine have been opium users. It's been a subject that I've learned about. Hunter S. Thompson was an idol of mine. I believe he has a very famous quote that says, I don't condone the use of drugs or alcohol to anyone, but they've always worked for me. He also has a quote just to say that heroin is a vitamin. So, I mean, yeah, Hunter S. Thompson, he has a prolific substance abuse issue. You. you can read any book about him and really see that. So have you ever taken drugs with Marilyn Manson? The lawyer asked. Yep, Depp replied, twice maybe. Now after admitting that he had regularly taken every drug known to man, Depp replied, My experience of alcohol and stimulants began at a very young age. It was not particularly stable or safe home life. There was a lot of unpleasant in the house. He added, I remember my mother used to ask me to get her nerve pills. Around the age of 11, it dawned on me that these pills calm your nerve, and I bought them home and took one. That began the only way to numb the pain. Now, the Sun lawyers and A.H., they allege that the drugs and alcohol, they turned him into a monster. The lawyer said, We see that you're very charming now, polite and softly spoken, but there's another side of you, Mr. Depp, that's less charming. There's a nasty angry side to your character. Depp replied, I'm well aware that there's been a lot of pain the way I was raised. When you are trying to figure out what it's all about, when the success and notoriety of all these things comes to you, and you don't quite understand why you have them, and you don't feel very worthy, it's very confusing. Now, while all of these accusations were flying, talking about Depp being destructive and violent, the high court, they actually heard explosive requests Recordings talking about A.H. shouting at Depp in 2015. David Sherborne read an extract from a tape in which A.H. said to her husband, You got hit, but I did not punch you. I did not effing deck you. I effing was hitting you. Heard 34 then went on to say, you're an effing baby, to which uh, Depp said, because you start physical fights. A.H. replied, you're such a baby, grow the F up. During this as well, Depp admitted that both he and A.H., they would record conversations during their relationship. Now, A.H. said that she recorded their conversations to remind Johnny of what he was doing when using drugs and alcohol because he wouldn't remember or denied uh, what he had said. But Depp Depp said that this was not correct, telling the court that A.H.'s later recollections of their conversations would sometimes be quote-unquote radically different. He added, I, at the time, thought that that was the best thing to do was to record the conversation. So I retrieved my telephone and I brought it to where we were talking and I said, I'm going to record this conversation. Joe did she do? I wanted it to be out in the open. So she knew that this stuff was going on. Imagine what she was ashamed of actually being recorded. Now, one of the things that we heard about today as well were accusations of infidelity as two names entered the courtroom. Elon Musk, A.H.'s rocket man, and James Franco were brought up, but we're not going to get everything in that. Why? Well, quote, he, talking about the judge, rejected an attempt by Depp to force A.H. to disclose evidence, including communications with actor James Franco and SpaceX founder Elon Musk, with whom she allegedly had a affairs while involved with Johnny Depp. The judge said the issue of A.H.'s extramarital relationships were irrelevant to the central issue in the case, which is whether Mr. Depp assaulted A.H. So, of course, her reputation is isn't on trial, huh? interesting, isn't it? Now, we learned that that isn't a two-way street, that Johnny Depp's reputation is definitely on the line, and one place out there, the sun, the place that is being sued, oh, they're going to do everything they can to bury it. If you look at their headline about this, for example, they talk about Johnny Depp in a way that makes him sound like he actually admits to something sinister. Quote, Johnny Depp, 
called himself the monster when he attacked A.H. in violent rages. They even go on to make it sound like that in their opening sentences. Johnny Depp referred to himself as quote-unquote the monster when he violently attacked A.H. The court heard today. The Hollywood actor turned his rage and frustration on the actress when he failed to control his drug and alcohol abuse. It was said. Huh. It was said. I wonder by who. Well, if you wade far enough into this article, you find it's not Johnny Depp saying this. It's not a witness saying it. It's the representative for the son. Yes, someone that they pay makes this proclamation, and they source to it like this is some type of proof. Quote, when sober, Mr. Depp was capable of kindness, charm, and generosity. The sign of character, what he described as the monster, was jealous, controlling, violent, and savage. It is these characteristics which qualify him for the term wife beater. So someone on the son's payroll is going out and casting Johnny Depp this way again. How telling. How telling indeed. Now other subjects they come up to, ranging from River Phoenix's untimely demise to A.H. approaching then security personnel Jerry Judge saying, hey, why did I marry that fat old man talking about Johnny Depp? But this, I think that this is actually interesting to include. So the court, they hear about Johnny Depp wrecking a hotel room in 1995, causing $10,000 worth of damage, and Kate Moss being there, his girlfriend at the time. So why did you trash the room? It had been a particularly bad couple of days, and that day it turned out to be the apex of an unpleasant time. I asked you a little while earlier, I asked if you thought you had problems with anger management. I don't. I was angry. Doesn't mean I have anger problems. I was expressing my anger. Right. So we're speaking the same language. You're expressing your anger through destructive behavior. So I have at times in my life. Yes. And this wasn't the only time by any means, was it? No. I also express myself by laughing. I don't have a humor problem. I thought that that was funny. Then you have a shot at the media in this that comes up a little while later. So reading from the interview about this incident, that lawyer says, it says, after a spat with his then girlfriend. What was that all about? The suggestion of the interviewer is that you had a spat with your girlfriend. That was the assumption of the media at the time because it makes for better press, doesn't it? But rather than assaulting a human being, I assaulted a couch. Hmm. Interesting. Media is untrustworthy. Johnny Depp takes out his frustrations on the couch. And all the while, Kate Moss, she sleeps through the whole thing. Hmm. Now, like I said, Johnny Depp is going to testify for three days, after which you're going to hear from quite a few people. Kate James, for example, A.H.'s previous assistant, is going to talk about stuff that may trigger satellite litigation or get A.H. sued. Why? Because she defrauded Homeland Security? Because she went out, she gave false statement to the Australian government? Yeah, that kind of stuff, it probably won't work out. You have security personnel in there. You have people that have worked with properties that are going to tell you about damage or a lack thereof, people with the L.A. condo building staff that are going to be able to tell you that they saw A.H., there was no damage to her, no marks or anything, plus they're going to be able to see people like Elon Musk. Also in that, you're going to have witness statements from two exes that are going to say, hey, I was with this guy for the longest time, and none of that stuff happened to me either. Now, in addition to that, you're going to have A.H., actually give testimony to, although the part about assault, that's going to be said behind closed doors. You're going to have the LAPD there, so you're going to have officers, two of them, talking about this. You're going to have makeup artists. You're going to have best friends there. It's going to make for a heck of a show. This stuff, like I said, it's only day one, and already we've heard some crazy stuff. Wait till we get into more. But anyway, you tell me what you think about this. So in closing, this is our second comic, another case for the littlest umbrella. It has less than a week remaining. It could definitely use your help. Why? Because we can't get the word out otherwise. I mean, we talk about due process. We talk about important things. But because of that, the mainstream, they consider this out of bounds. We create a good product. We've had two smash hits. And like I said, we could use your help in doing that. So check it out. And also, with this, you get three cards a postcard, and a sticker so far, and there may be more 
as we continue forward. Also, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you showing up. You make these endeavors possible. Not enough people say that. I truly mean it. So thank you, and as always, see you soon.